Hello, hello everybody. And it's time. I've been thinking about how I can get more guppy numbers. I've got to provide more shelter for the fry. So, this is a pond planter basket just turned upside down. And my tanks where I colony breed, because some of the, the lines I'm really going hard after, you know, they all have their own breeder tanks and fry tanks and grow out tanks and all that. But I have, I want to get these numbers going. I'm not getting enough fry making it with only moss. I would thought of moss been real good, but it just isn't that great. So I need better fry cover. And I've stole some ideas and took some other ideas and ran with it. One of the main people is Valley Fish. He has, his red mosaics are in a 10 gallon and he gets, he's got twice as many fry in his 10 gallon as I do in these 20 gallons. And I'm gonna try to do something similar with this. Now in this tank, I'm not really going to do a whole lot more, I don't think right now, I'm going to probably take some of the moss out, but this tank, these tanks here, I, no one can really see them unless you're in here specifically, you know, these ain't looking good tanks, these are just functional tanks, but then this tank is going to be our main focus, as you can see. <laughs> This tank was really, really overgrown. I should have started doing this and I was like, eh, I better make a video on this. It is video time. There's been, I've seen quite a bit of frying here because the plants are so overgrown. But it could be better. Yeah. And this tank needed cleared out anyway. And then let me show you something over here. Now this tank is a 29 gallon and it, I have rocks going all the way across and I've been watching these panda guppies have been dropping lots of fry and I see so many fry popping in and out of these rocks. So that's what made me get the idea. And this is just, there's nothing. There is a little plexiglass thing here because I was trying to grow runner plants here and I, that was supposed to keep the plants from spreading from the back, but that didn't work out. So, see, just the rocks work. I'm gonna make a nice big rock pile you can see there's a lot of fry just swimming around here of course these guys are like two better fry eaters but usually you see little babies poking in and out of here i just turned the lights on there's and if a big fish comes by there's one they just dart right back into the rocks so they really, really use this cover. So I'm gonna to try to do something over here in this tank that ought to hopefully do pretty good. Using the pond basket, I've actually cut this in half. I'm gonna use the other half on another tank. But I wanted to see how I could get this to look. And I've got a bunch of river rock I've been rinsing. They're river rock. <laughs> and another pond basket that I'm rinsing it out in. And we'll see if we can make a nice looking rock pile that looks nice and is using this basket for fry cover. So let's see what we can come up with. Now what we're going to try to do 
is put these rocks in here so that they look look like a respectable normal rock pile <laughs> so let's see what we come up with here put it around here on the edges you don't want to put it on here too thick because they need to be able to get access to the holes so it's still going to be kind of loose but I'm going to shrink these rocks off it's you can see there's still quite a bit of gunk coming off of them when I put them in the water. Trying to make some good power out. <laughs> it's probably going to be good looking, but it'll be decent looking. There, you see what I'm trying to do there. I'm not going to bore you to death I'm trying to watch all of it, but let's see what I come up with there. Okay, it's been a little bit of time has gone by because the water is all cloudy. And you can see it's just, you can't really see the basket. There's plenty of access. You can see it there a little bit if you're looking right on top of it. But from here, you can't really see it. And that's what I'm after. So that is looking good. I am super happy with that. I think that's pretty cool. But after I done that, I didn't get the rocks rinsed off real good and the water was cloudy. And I was thinking, there's, I don't know what I'm going to do, <laughs> to be honest. So I got to thinking, I still have some of that craft, I don't even know what it's called, mesh fabric type stuff, craft fabric, something or other like that, I think is what it is called. And so this is to make it look nice <laughs> if you care about having your guppy fry cover look nice. So I can get in there. Even looks like a natural rock pile. Well, whatever. <laughs> I don't know how natural it looks, but looks halfway decent, I, I guess. And then we got ended up being craft time. And this one, I just made a roll out of one and put it in there. And now I got bored and made this guy here. Let's see. Ends. And so I'll set it down in the tank. And that tank right there. And so we can't get more fry. So we got that basket deal going on up there. The Japan Blues, oh, we got plenty of them. And this is a breeder tank with the breeder boxes and the whole nine yards with the nicer lines I'm really going after, hard to do good. So they are all selective bred, they're all controlled breeding. This is the half black greens. They got tons and tons of fry of these already. The last drop on us not they had a drop in here not that long ago and not that many I only saw like one or two from that generation so hopefully this that'll help that and then down here at the bottom we've got our red grass guppies lots of nice pregnant ones and we're going to try to Stuff this new creation in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have anyone to film me. I'm home by myself right now. So, let's see if I can get it in here. And there you can see it. 
This is a 20 gallon tank. And I think that ought to be pretty good for our cover. <laughs> I imagine the moss will be a pain in the butt. But I'll take some more of that moss on that top tank, but we'll see. We'll see. So we've got the pond planter basket. We got vertical, there's no top or bottom on that. It's just smushed down, the bottom is smushed down, the top sticks out. Stick it up vertical, and then I made one with the top and the bottom, and it's laying in there sideways, and I think that one is the best bet. So, I think they'll all work pretty good. The shrimp will enjoy it as well, I'm sure. But yeah, pretty happy. We'll get some red grass guppies now. Some more anyway. These females look huge. Should be dropping lots of fry and hopefully get a lot making. We get a lot to make it. In my new fry cover situation. And then the one I'm real happy with. Excuse the cloudy tank. And the tank is a mess. But yeah, look, they're already. That, that guy's big enough not to get eight, but he's I saw another one down here checking it out already. But yeah. Fry cover. Thank you all for watching. Bye.